This is a bittersweet, exciting moment as it is June 1st and I have taken lease of the property right behind me. That's right, it's going to be the compound, the, maybe even the dompound of where all my automotive engineering and activities are all going to start. The problem is uh, I even made it, I got insurance on time, but they would not give me the keys until Monday. So that gives me three days of just standing out here waiting helplessly, hopelessly looking for keys. But the exciting part is this is the beginning of the next step. So what you see is it's kind of a shared complex. So hopefully this guy over here doesn't burn my stuff down. There's insurance for that very reason, which by the way, was about $841 for a whole year of aggregate a thousand or a million to $2 million of uh, insurance. And there's also room to kind of move vehicles in and out. And of course, get uh, trailers in and out. Although being from Michigan, the best part of this entire property is I get my very own palm tree. That's right, <laughs> this is my palm tree, at least for the next 12 months. I've got my own little garden. <laughs> I can take care of my little garden here of ivy. I don't know who the next door neighbors are. Uh, I'm sure I'll find out as we go, but uh, this place looks pretty promising. And as you can see, there's tons of access, main road access, access behind here that we can move stuff in and out. But this is pretty nice. I, of course, you can't leave any cars out overnight. You could do it once or twice, but that's not really the point of these. Uh, people get upset. So I've got my own one, two, three, four. I've got my own four parking spots here. Again, not really supposed to leave cars out here, but they're my dedicated ones. Of course, you can tell nobody really parks out back there. Well, this is one hell of a moment. This is so cool. I've just got the keys to this place. What is this place, you might ask? It's my new headquarters. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my buddy TJ Hunt who just moved from his first shop to his much larger one. Huge congrats to him, he's making big moves. And even though he had asked me for advice on that, I've kind of taken the inspiration from him, finally pulled the trigger, and here we are. Now that TJ's place is called what, the Hunt Quarters, so I think it's only appropriate that we name this the Down Pound. <laughs> Something like that, we're still working, it's a, it's a working title. So you guys ready to see this? Now this is of course very budget for me. This is very much something that I'm very careful on budgeting, making sure I have the correct everything. So very nervous, very excited, very ready. And uh, without much further ado, let me show you this. There's tons of work left to be done to it, and you, your imagination can run just as wild as mine can on how we're gonna set this up, but of course what's important is there's a toilet <laughs> that's existing. So of course the door right there is, is where all the activities begin and they roll in here. So in my thought, my thought is that that's the door uh, maybe over there will be a bay, maybe obviously lighting is gonna have to turn into something a little bit more conducive to cameras. This camera's already pushing its ISO just with the three lights that are in here, but so you drive in from here, obviously you can go straight back, maybe three cars wide, two cars wide, whatever whatever the situation requires. And then of course turn in to here. So here, let me walk all the way back to the door. You can see there's a lot of possibilities here. And of course, just like the movie Step Brothers, there's a lot of room for activities. Of course, this is what, 2,300, 2,400 square feet. So it's not like we can play football and do all those sort of crazy massive uh, warehouse things, but my God, this is so cool. Like I said, this is a very shoestring budget. I'm being very careful with what I do because quite frankly, you know, I, my money situation is something that's very near and dear to my heart and I'm making that transition slowly. So this will be used very much to make more money, to do more videos, to be able to crank things out quicker out in California, as well as all the travels that I have. First of all, storing the vehicles here is gonna be a very much the step number one. Having all my cars here, finally having the Diablo and everything else here is gonna be extremely important. What does that mean though? Having a $300,000 car in a place like this means massive security and cameras. So I have to spend that, obviously ensuring the place for that, because inevitably, being in the public eye and having a car that's very desirable, I gotta be realistic with what to expect to spend my money on. So, security, cameras, 
Cameras, tons more cameras. That's all just an absolute necessity given today's day and age. So I'll have all of my cars in here. I can work on them, I can film, I can put nitrous on the inside like I've been planning to. All these things so that way I'm not taking up space in Able Shop. I'm able to do my things on my own time. So if I wanna work till three in the morning, I can work till three in the morning. I wanna do whatever I want, I can do what I want. And if it fails, it's my own damn fault. Probably the best part about all this is I've got my very own air conditioning unit. I've never had a box like this. It's always been central air. So this is a, uh, a new one for me. That sounded cool. Here we are, a little baby insight in the middle of this whole place. These floors are horrid though. This definitely needs to change. If you guys have any recommendations on what you think I should do to this place, because uh, quite frankly, that's just ugly as hell. Like not only is it ugly, but it's potentially problematic to find a bolt that fell on the ground definitely needs to change. So what would you do to the floor to a place like this, especially for something that's gonna be on camera? And I think the wall color is going to have to change because again, white is just gonna blow out the cameras whenever all the other colors and the darkness of a vehicle show up. Nine, six, seven. So I forgot to bring a tape measure. <laughs> Eight, 29, 30, nine. Now, if you're anything like me, there are some moments in an office that are more inaugural than others, and this is that moment. You have taken ownership of this entire place. The only downside is they didn't provide toilet paper. You already know that I'm not exactly the pinnacle of human judgment, but sometimes I come up with some of the best solutions just like this case. So I needed a desk and I needed a chair and I only have the inside to haul it all in. I don't have a truck, I don't have really anything else and I don't wanna be that guy that always asks your friends with trucks for help in exchange for pizza, it's a joke. That's almost cruel and unusual punishment, so I improvised. <laughs> This is not only to document my weird adventures, but also in case I need to file a police report or this stuff falls off, I can make an insurance claim. All the above make for some sort of entertainment. We have Zentra and Realscape, Morgan, huh, Dexter Morgan. <laughs> okay, so I've got my new desk and my new chair set up. Hopefully this stuff will help kind of take away the fact that, listen to the echo, echo. Even with a good quality microphone, there's still an insane amount of echo. The color in the walls look ugly because of those types of lights. All of this is going to change. You know what the best part about all this is? I'm using a Fios one gig connection as my doorstop. That, as you can imagine, is making the geek in me nerd the fuck out. I love California just for Fios. Oh, what do we have? Well, what did we have here? Oh, that's cool. A real organized set of screws and one Allen wrench that's going to stay in my tool chest forever until I figure out that I don't need it. Or unless I go to take this chair apart, which will never happen. Thankfully, this isn't an office tutorial channel on how to set up a chair, but you're going to watch a five second quick promo of me doing it right now.
I saved you all the torture of watching the desk get built, and there we have it. My first space to do something business-like here at the shop.